Come on, come on. Off we go now. Nos. That's a nice horse, Socrates. It's a very nice horse. A sturdy horse. It's also a stolen horse. It looks like I'll have to report you, Socrates. It's what a good citizen would do, right? Oh, very good. Although a bit preemptive without all the details, wouldn't you say? It was a joke. The real question is whether there is truth behind the joke, or if one's mind can be changed once the whole story is revealed. What story is that? There is a man nearby who is responsible for stealing the horse. I've been contemplating the proper course of action, but I'd like to know what you think is right. And how should I make my decision? Your thoughts are your own, but speaking to the thief himself may help you decide. Can such a crime be justified? It's an interesting thought. Where is the thief now? I told him to wait by the stable southwest of here. If you caught him stealing a horse, what's to say he won't just run away? The hope of keeping the horse. That's where you come in. I'll let him tell you the rest. Oh, 
I should try to stay out of sight. escape. the one who stole the horse? Socrates said I should talk to you. Bad enough being caught, but to have a Mystheus judge me... Better than an Athenian guard. Anything to say? The man I stole it from won't even miss it. He has plenty of others, while my only horse died last week. If I had a drachmi to buy a new one, I would have. Any reason you pick this specific horse? It was the easiest one to take. Other than that, not really. Though, I did make sure it wasn't his best horse. A courteous thief. I didn't steal it for fun. I did it because I had no other choice. Did you steal the horse to use it or sell it? I have a family to feed, and this horse will help me on the farm. Plus, I have no other way of traveling right now. There is no other option? Not that I could think of. Trust me. I feel shame for what I did.
I have enough information to make a decision. I hope you can understand. Wouldn't you do the same if it was your family? Let's go. Ella. Have you decided what should be done? If he needs the horse more than the man he stole it from, let him keep it. It will do him more good. So, determining whether a crime deserves a consequence or reward is dependent on the reasons behind it? An intriguing thought, although I can see how dangerous such thinking might be. The real question is whether my decision matters at all, or if this was just another test to see what I would do. There is a good chance it is both, but an equally good chance it is neither. Now you're not making sense on purpose. Let me ask you one more thing. If one man kills another in order to save many, can his actions be considered just? Or should the man be punished? The outcome may be better, but he should still be punished for his crime. That is true, yet if his peers were to decide, especially those he saved, they may argue that though the action was wrong, it was necessary and just. I'm not sure the law cares about the reasons. But if we are to decide whether the law should act on a man, or if his crime should be pardoned, the worthiness of the action should be taken into account, should it not? Are we done yet? I can't stay here all day. Of course you can't. It's a luxury few can afford. Even those with the time for it often lack the mental capacity for such things. Okay.
το παιδεύει. Famous Acropolis, a testament to humankind's skill and craftsmanship. I might have a job for you, if you're as good a fighter as I've heard. You've heard of me? Don't let it go to your head. I hear about everything that happens in this city, Mystios. With flattery like that, how could I possibly turn you down? I'm not trying to flatter you. I'm trying to hire you. I need some Spartan military targets removed. I'll help you, if I can. Depending on what it is you need, General... Demosthenes. Very good. My spies tell me the Spartans are mobilizing. What I want you to do is hamstring them. Get into their forts and remove the commanders in charge. I guess that makes sense. I'm thrilled you approve. You'll need to bring me the sailors of the commanders you kill as proof. You'll be amply rewarded. Those don't seem like standard Athenian tactics. They're not. But it will work, and that's what matters. We've already lost too many Athenians to those savages using traditional warfare. The other generals disagree, but I refuse to let them destroy our chances. What do they want to do? They want honorable face-to-face -face warfare, pitting our forces directly against the Spartans. We're not going to win a contest of strength against those brutes. We need to outthink them. So, will you kill the commanders? All right, I'll take the job. Good. I might not have approval to deploy our men to do this, but I'm not about to let that stop me. What's so special about these seals? Only elite Spartan commanders carry these seals. Those in charge of entire forts. They'd all die before parting with them. So bring me the seals as proof that they're dead. Where can I find them? The Spartans have been making inroads into Athenian territory, taking over forts that once belonged to us. Make them pay for every inch. You've told me enough. I'll get your seals for you, General.
They'll be on high alert here. They'll keep a sharp watch here.
no place for you. doing that had better stop! Nothing? Well done. <gasps> Somebody thinks that a fucking musician! I'd be free. I can't believe I'm free. Up and the thing you lost the mini.
If I get overturned out here, I don't think I can swim back. Can't take a boat like this into deep water.
You're released until the commander's return. Ya me he Alexios, by the gods, is that you? By the gods, Itor, is that you? You look, you look old, my friend. When was the last time I saw you? Kefalonia, that job for Marcos, remember? We ended up back to back, surrounded by angry pirates. They were only angry because you double-crossed them. Thank the gods we got out alive. Ah! They should have paid better. I'd heard rumors you'd settle down in Attica. Always thought you'd die with a blade in your hand, not open up a shop. The blade I always thought I'd take with me is missing. I could use your help if you're willing to assist an old friend. You mean Arpi? You love that blade. Some Malacca's commander came in here demanding I fix his fucking twig. When I couldn't, he said I was obligated to provide a new one. And the one he wanted was hanging on my wall. I'll get Arpi back for you. Don't do anything stupid. I just want her back. Hey, you know me. That's why I'm afraid. Tell me where to find the commander. He's here, in Attica, at Fort Filey. I should be going. Remember, we don't want trouble. Just sneak in and take it. You're still good at that, right? I won't lower myself to answer that.
need to stay hidden. This must be Fort Faili. If Vitor's right, I'll find the sword inside.
Glad you're back safely. Did you get my RP? Yes, I found RP. Good, good. And what of that Malacca's commander? And what of him? Ah, no matter. You have my sword. That's what's important. The sword wasn't stolen from you, was it? You used me. Truth be told, I never said it was stolen. You... Ah, a crime of omission only, my friend. You know how important RP is to me. I had no money. Couldn't fight anymore. I would have died without a drachmi by the side of the road. Selling RP enabled me to start my business. You wouldn't begrudge a man a second chance, would you? No, but I don't like being lied to. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Vitor, you had my back and taught me so much on Kefalonia. Don't worry about the Drachmi you promised. Consider the favor repaid. You've grown into a fine man, Alexios. A better mercenary, with both a strong arm and a kind heart, would be hard to find. Sometimes too kind. Just don't tell anyone. Can't have people thinking I'm weak. No, of course. A Mistyos reputation is everything. Even if I don't swing her anymore, I'm glad to have RP back. Take care of yourself, Vitor. And try not to lose anything else. Vitor. Ah, my friend! I'm so glad you're here. I know that look. Well, yes. A small one. What's this man to you? How could you say that? It wouldn't be the first time. By the gods, this man is one of us, Alex. Okay, I'll do it. Thank you, my friend. Once you rescue him, take him. Tell me where to look for him. He's in a military camp. Time to go get your friend. Come on. Yes, they feel you don't want to be, to be here to today, Selsor. I should stay hidden if I don't want to fight. There'll be trouble if I'm spotted here.
Tiran kinana meno. They won't ask any questions. Best keep out of sight. They can't be far. <laughs> Need to find this archer.
Report! I've not found the trail, sir. We'll find them. Keep looking. As you say, sir. He's gone. Malak! Fire me. How did they outrun me? It's like they were hunted. Gotta find the archer. No one notices me here.
Better stay hidden. Well, thank you.
you are. I was starting to think you wouldn't show up. You! Hello, Emilko. Long time. Itor, what's going on? Why are you here? Of course. He didn't tell you, did he? You've been used, my friend. Shut up! I'm not here to hear you talk. I'm here to see you die. You lied to me again! This isn't how friendships work, Itor. Listen, please. I'm sorry, but you don't know what this man did to me. That's fucking rich, Itor. Why don't you tell him the truth? Shut up, murderer. What's going on? Trust me, this man needs to die. I gave you a contract to bring him to me. Do not interfere, and I will reward you well. I got him out as you asked, so why kill him now? I could have dealt with him if that's what you wanted. Because I had to see him. Why? Because he killed the love of my life. We both shared guilt in that. But she was my wife! Your wife? She wouldn't have died if... What? If I hadn't caught you? If you hadn't attacked me? If she hadn't tried to stop us? If our blades hadn't struck her down? Who's to blame here? Despite what either of you did, this won't bring her back. It will make me feel better. And that's all that's important to you in the end, isn't it? Easing your conscience. You think killing him will make you feel better? I guarantee it won't. And it sounds like she wouldn't have wanted either of you to get hurt. <sighs> You're right. I'm sorry. Fuck your sorry! You destroyed my life that night. But I agree with your friend. Let's just pray we never see each other again. Why, you... Let him go. You made the right choice here. Sometimes we cannot make up for the mistakes of our past. I'm just glad all those years with me didn't drop off on you. Sometimes we need to move on from the past, like I did from Kefalonia. You have a chance to make a new life. Use it. I should watch my step around here.
Pieces coming, Ugh. eh? 